Hello and welcome to ITNs. So, in this series, we are going to talk about Azure AZ104 exam, and we are going to talk about how we are going to pass the exam in the first attempt, right? And so, this session or this series is actually going to be designed to help you out to clear the exams, right? So, uh, in, in this session today, we are going to talk about what what is this exam about? What are the prerequisites for attempting these exams? What are the core things, the five core topics that we need to be sure of and how much each of these topics is weighing for the exam? Right? So once we are through with those five topics, we should be through, thorough enough for clearing the exam. At the end of the session, we will be running through some practice tests, right? So all this is to make you all pass the exam in the first attempt right now this series like my any other series which I've done earlier and which I'll be doing going forward is going to start with very basic okay and then it is going to gradually pick up to a pro level right yeah so the motive is not only to pass the exam but also to make sure that you are understanding the concepts and you will be able to apply those admin or architecture uh, concepts in your day-to-day -day life right okay great uh, so I'll see you in the session thank you Welcome back to ITN. So this is the first session for Azure and in this series we are going to cover the topics that are required to clear exam AZ104. Okay. So if you go to the Microsoft site and if you go to the details what is required to clear the exam you will find that you can schedule the exam yes and these are the skills that will be measured for the exam there are five skills that are measured so that is manage Azure identities and governance so that you would expect about 15 to 20 percent of the questions coming from this topic implement and manage storage that you would expect about 10 to 15 percent deploy and manage Azure compute resources 25 to 30 percent configure and manage virtual network 30 to 35 percent monitor and backup Azure resources 10 to 15 percent right so these are the five topics for which exams uh, will be testing out to you right and we are going to cover in detail on all these things in this series and we are going to make sure that uh, you clear the exam in the first attempt so stay tuned all right now if you want to have more detailed information about the exam you can click on this link okay so here you go I mean it just gives you the more details about the each of the topics right so when we are talking about Azure identities and governance right so it is going to look at how we are going to create accounts how how we are going to manage users device settings how we are going to look at uh, performing bulk user updates and all those things which are part of the active directory right also we are going to look at how we are going to give access control using the RBAC or role based access control okay and then we are going to look at manage subscription and governance because you would have various different departments and you want to give your subscription to the department as per the requirement and then you need to have a governance in place like by adding tags right and making sure that this particular department is built as per the utilization of that department right so if they're going to utilize more um, resources on Azure they will be built accordingly so how you're going to track it we're going to track it using tags right and then we will move on to manage storage in this we are going to look at how we're going to configure access to the storage um, giving um, the uh, access keys and then we are going to look at replication between the two 
then we're going to look at managing replications right and other other things of about azure storage like um, import export and uh, then we'll move on managing blob storage and other things about uh, storage right once we are done with that then we will also look at azure compute resources okay where we are going to look at uh, virtual machines uh, we, uh, we are going to look at the templates arm templates and the vhd templates that we can utilize to provision the servers in at the faster pace right all right and then the most important thing which is actually new in az104 which was not there in az103 okay that is create and configure azure kubernetes service and container instances so this this is the new topic which which has been included in az104 right so we're going to look in details on on those things right and then we're going to look at web apps how we can configure web apps right and um, then we will move on managing virtual networks where we are going to look at how we can configure the vnets and provide the required access to the um, servers and uh, virtual machines right so that the required access is there and we are not giving we, we are providing only enough access to provide uh, to the resources even to the users as well as to um, the virtual machines that needs to be communicating to each other as well as to a virtual machine to a storage so all those things we are going to look in detail right so next we will move on to dns where we are going to look at managing dns zones and um, st stuff like that then we are going to look at configuring access to virtual networks uh, configuring load balancing uh, because we will be utilizing some applications so we are going to look at ASGs and uh, uh, NSGs so that is something which we are going to look at um, then we are also going to look at monitor and troubleshoot virtual network uh, integrate an on-premise network with an Azure virtual network Then we will move on to monitor and backup Azure resources, which which comprise of 10 to 15 percent of exam. Yeah, so in that we are going to look at monitoring resources by using Azure monitors, log insights, um, all those things we are going to check out. And then we are going to lastly look at the backup and recovery part, right? Okay, so it's going to be a huge a section in um, in all these things uh, which we are going to cover in this series and um, the the videos that we will I'll be uploading in this series will actually come come across for about 10 to 20 10 to 15 hours okay so stay tuned and we'll make sure that um, you clear the exam in the first attempt all right great until next time thank you keep watching and keep learning